so it's pride month and for those of you who don't know i am a part of the lgbtq community um i'm what you would call they would probably label if they were to label me i would be a quotation stud that would be my label but this video isn't about me um, I've been getting a lot of messages about this whole K9 and Ari thing that's going on. So they're back together. I don't know if you guys know who that is, but their K9 is a Vigo host. And um, he's known for dating the Wind Twins, who are both uh, transgender women. He's dated Yetta Brown, who's also a Vigo host. He's dated, um, and after Yetta, he was with another woman just recently, like two weeks ago. Um, it was a straight woman. Um, you don't know what happened to her. And now that Ari's home, he's back with Ari, who is also a transgender woman. And I've noticed that this is becoming very common nowadays in this, in the our current culture, the current temperature of the world, um, sexual, being sexually fluid or pansexual, or gender fluid, whatever you want to call it, is becoming very normal. People are being, even black men especially, which is really astonishing and surprising, are coming out and they they just don't care. It's like this new era of men i don't know like this new generation i don't know what's going on but they're just way more open about it they're not ashamed about it they're not ashamed about talking about dating transgender women we've heard nature boy talk about it the man in his camp talk about it they're open to it and i've noticed a lot of black men are becoming more and more open to it i've also read tweets that uh, black men don't see it as being gay if they get oral sex from another man they feel like they're just getting satisfied and um as a member of this community i can tell you now that um, i've seen a lot of straight men in straight relationships and uh, i've gone to clubs and i've seen them in these particular clubs and they have wives or girlfriends at home um I don't know. I, I just know homosexuality with men has been going on since the dawn of time in every freaking culture. Um, and I don't really quite know why that is or how that is, but it's really, really, really prevalent and it's common. And I've also learned that um, young boys, when they're young, they actually experiment with each other. So if you have sons, you know, going over their homeboy's house or their friend's house for a sleepover. Seven times out of ten, they are experimenting. I mean, that's that, it's 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 happening. It, it it happens. Whether you want to acknowledge it, face it, it's happening. So um, I see a lot of things. Being a lesbian, I see a lot of things that straight women don't see. A lot of straight women are in a whole lot of denial. A whole lot of denial. And I understand that. I can get it. I understand you think you might date this manliest man of the, you know, he's just manly, then he's thugging out, and he would never, he would never. Okay, so you say. But let me tell you, I live in one of the largest cities in the nation. And uh, there's a whole lot of homosexual thugs whole lot of homosexual rappers whole lot of homosexual drug dealers i'm telling you it is so common and women are starting to either accept it and go along with it or they're just ignoring it and not coming to terms with it they just act like it doesn't exist like i'm just gonna if i don't acknowledge it it's not happening but let me be the one to tell you it's happening so, um, I just do, I also want to say, you know, I, I don't think it's very wise to jump from partner to partner to partner to partner like K9 has been doing. I think that's kind of a reckless behavior. It's not safe. Um, it's okay to be bisexual, to be single and all that, but that doesn't necessarily mean you have to 
have intercourse with every person you meet. Okay, I mean, let's just calm down. Soul ties are real. So are STDs. So let's just keep that in mind and check out this video. No. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, I was going to say. Her but life. I do say flights often, like very cashy, you know. We we period. we love a good airport trip. We we love a good trip. Oh, period. Airport. That's what it gave. Yeah. What is that? What you still? I'm in? trying like low key. I'm trying to convince Ari and him to go to Costa Rica in August, yeah. but I don't know. Oh, girl, I feel like if I go over there, I'm getting killed. Period. Off Costa top. Rica. I feel like somebody's gonna try to set me up. Like they're gonna do something with my drinks or something. I'm scared to do that. That's well, the Dominican to Republic. I'm scared to travel in general, period. No, thank you. We should get a <laughs> private jet, low key, with security and everything. Get picked up in a black car, but we could discuss that later. Mm -hmm. um, the, people, the, people, the people that's gonna be at the bus, bitch, you better make sure we got security. <laughs> yeah. I need Why? this charger. That's what it's time for. <laughs> Loki, <key. laughs> we are gonna need nothing. this security guard. No, literally, <laughs> bitch. That's all. No, oh. you know, Shay. Like, are we? <laughs> Did you see the comments, girl? Like. <laughs> Bisexual and pansexual visibility caused a number of black celebrities and personalities to come out in 2020. Stay tuned to learn who they are. Carlton Morton previously was Cynthia Bailey's assistant from The Real Housewives of Atlanta before appearing on Netflix's Love is Blind. He came out as bisexual to the entire world. This is the moment that he came out as bisexual from the show. And received a dangerous amount of hate. Carlton's first boyfriend was Chi Chi Devane from RuPaul's Drag Race. Keita Murray is a pro wrestler. He made his debut on television on NXT in 2018. Then he appeared on SmackDown Live in the same year. He is a proud bisexual man and he had this to say on Twitter. September 16th to the 23rd is Bi Awareness Week which I didn't know about until a couple of years after I came out. Bisexuality isn't really discussed at all, but bi people make up the largest portion of the LGBT community, but are often disregarded. And I really like the second part of the tweet, but I'm just gonna read the last part of it. I've come across a lot of negativity in my life from people like Carlton, Keita, when he came out, received a lot of negativity. I would love to hear in the comment section what you guys think about men in particular coming out as bisexual. That is the bisexual anthem by Taylor Park. She is a 27-year-old actress, singer, and songwriter. She has songwriting credits for Pink and I Like That by Janelle Monae, BTS's Mic Drop, and she has written 34 plus 35, Thank You Next, and Seven Rings by Ariana Grande. 
And one of my favorite songs that she wrote is Alicia Keys and Common, which is the gayest video of all time. Technically, Jeffree Star outed Andre Marhold in August. They experienced a short-lived entanglement. Andre revealed a great deal about their relationship in a Jason Lee interview. He is now in a new entanglement with Bobby Lights from Love and Hip Hop Miami. In October, X Factor winner Dalton Harris, who is Jamaican, came out as pansexual on Twitter and Instagram. On Twitter, he posted an image of the pansexual flag. On Instagram, he wrote, To the boys with fragile egos, I am a top to you and your girlfriend or your non-binary partner. <music> Levi Davis is a 21-year-old English rugby player on the Bath rugby team. He's an Adidas brand ambassador and appeared on the X Factor Celebrity. He came out in September in an interview with the Daily Mail. Before the interview, he came out to his teammates in a group chat via WhatsApp. Avery Wilson is a R&B singer slash songwriter who appeared on The Voice. He came out as bi on July 18th, which is also his birthday via Twitter. He received a mix of positive messages, but also backlash. Check out some of these comments. Like this one, love that Avery spoke his truth, but let's also focus on the fact that he truly sings down. A popular black couple on Instagram, Tyrone and Janelle wrote, everybody is these days, okay bye. In response, Avery wrote, everybody ain't speaking on it though. Madison Bailey is a 21-year-old actress most known for Outer Banks and The Council of Dads. She came out on IG Live in a Q&A as pansexual. She is dating Mariah Lenny from the Charlotte 49ers basketball team. That's a Dalek. Well, that's not explaining. That's just saying a word. Pearl Mackey is a 33-year-old British actor. She played a lesbian on the 10th season of Doctor Who. Doctor Who is a sci-fi drama that is worth watching. She came out in June via Instagram. The post said, proud to be bisexual, proud to be black, proud of all my LGBTQ plus brothers and sisters. Independent pro wrestler Mr. Grimm came out publicly on January 1st of this year, actually, but we're going to pretend it was New Year's Eve. Congratulations to Mr. Grimm. On Twitter, he wrote, for years I've struggled with my identity, too worried about how others would feel or think about me. I finally gained the courage to express that I'm pansexual. And he actually uh, thanked another wrestler um, for being his inspiration for coming out. Jazz Anderson is the daughter of reality TV star Tammy Roman and NBA player Kenny Anderson. She came out on her Fox Soul show, The Mix, back in October. Check it out. I've always been very honest uh, with myself and with my mom, so I have no qualms about being honest with you guys on The Mix. I felt it was necessary for me to do so that someone doesn't have to try to say my truth for me. So I am bisexual. Um, I do look at myself as a bisexual female in 2020. I've been with females and I've been with males. Um, so for me, it's like, I, I don't, I, I'm not gonna let anybody call me a lesbian because I do like guys. And if I ever am looking and I meet a great guy in the future, I'm definitely down to date him as I've dated other guys in the past. Andrew Gillum, the former mayor of Tallahassee, came out as bisexual in an interview with Tamron Hall 
after a very public scandal involving a male prostitute and drugs. Francesca Ramsey is a comedian, actress, and writer. She came out as bisexual on National Coming Out Day this year. On Twitter she wrote, I've always believed that sexuality is fluid, but I fell into the trap of thinking being in a long-term hetero relationship meant I had no claim to my bisexual identity, which is completely untrue. I loved what she wrote, and you can read the rest of it on Twitter. Technically, Tanache already came out, but this year is the first year that she used the word bisexual to identify herself in an article for Gay Times magazine. Definitely check out the article. The photos are gorgeous, and um, I loved what she had to say in it. Nisi Nas shocked the world after revealing she married Jessica Betts. They met on the set of Claws. Nisi identifies as queer and fell in love with Jessica's soul, not their gender. In the comment section, let me know who's coming out surprised you the most, your thoughts on men specifically coming out as bisexual, because there's been a lot of talk about it online, and again, congratulations to everyone who came out. It takes courage to do so.